Hi, I'm Nita. And I'm Sinead. And today we're talking to the founder, designer, the brains behind Australian Camping, a full drive YouTube channel. Today we're really lucky we have Robert in the showroom with us and he runs a YouTube channel called Australian Camping and Full Drive. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's the one. Oh, good. I have, a, <laughs> I have a memory like a goldfish ever since I had kids. That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I don't know what my excuse is. Then. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't have no, one. You can make your own up. I'll take that's that right. one. <laughs> yeah, thanks for having me along. It's no, like, thanks really, for coming in. Really nice to be able to come by and, and have a chat. Um, yes. We came into this, the showroom a while ago and uh, looking for a blade for one of our saws mm. and the guys kindly helped me out yes. and I've noticed their YouTube channel and I uh, thought hey it'd be a great thing to come in and maybe just collaborate and have a chat about uh, the saws that um, these mm. guys keep. So Australian Camping Four Wheel Drive, who are we? So uh, we're just a four wheel drive channel, we, mm. um, uh, I do product reviews generally on lots of different products and lots of stuff, yep. so everything from tents through to you know uh, different types of four wheel drive vehicles and that type of stuff. So that's what Australian Camping and Four Wheel Drive is, is all about. But we also like to get out there and, and um, yeah. give things a go, which is which is important as well. Mm. And uh, saw the saws you guys have. There. Yeah, so we've had some stuff. cool saws, and we thought it'd be good to sort of do a little bit of a um, a joint video because. You know, we've said before we're the salespeople, and I mean, we've done a few videos where Sinead and I have actually gone out and learned how to survive in the bush, and you know, done a few little demos here. But you know, at the end of the day, we aren't necessarily hardcore bushmen or arborists or you know, four wheel drive experts in any way, shape, or form. So we thought it would be great to get Robert's opinion, his expert opinion, and because he does reviews on our products and he's already got one of them, he can tell you from his perspective yeah. what he really yeah. thinks of them. We give you the specs, he gives you whether we're telling the truth. No. Yeah. <laughs> so, Make the mark. Yeah. <laughs> I've got one there, Katana Boy 650s, is what yes. we actually have, and um, we use that when we get out on the tracks and all stuff. Mm -hmm. I've had a couple of times actually been out using it and yeah. uh, found uh, logs and that stuff um, across the track and that. Yes. The, the, the um, Katana Boy is great for, for cutting down that stuff and removing it and mm. it's, the reason I like it is because I don't have to have a chainsaw and take up all extra space. Yes. This thing just fits me behind my seat. Yep. So when we go up, I'm going to be rude and walk across yeah. Robert, while he's talking about that and yeah, grab, grab one. So yeah. Just really in case good. you don't know what Katana Boy 650 is, then yeah. you do. Yeah, cool. And uh, I think this is it here, by the looks of it. Yeah. yeah. So 650 means it has a 65 centimeter blade, so cool. grateful to tackle those larger branches, obviously. Um, so yeah, quite a few twerk twerks about it. <laughs> That's another video, I think. Perks. <laughs> <laughs> the katana comes in three sizes. Yeah. So this is the middle child, and it has a baby brother, which is a half a meter long in blade, and then it has a big brother, which is a thousand <laughs> millimeters, which is one meter long. That yeah, one there. This one right here. So this is big brother katana boy. This is crazy. <laughs> It's like, holy hell, how long it is. That's massive. It is, it is. It's amazing though. And the teeth are ginormous. So you cut a huge chunk of timber out when you glide that through a piece of wood. We actually have a, um, a video where we did this survival uh, course and we, we all used it. Sinead used it, I used it, and the guy that was teaching us, Richard Hungerford, he used it as well. It's pretty crazy. But apparently, um, you know. <laughs> wow. Here you go. That is. <laughs> Ooh, that's, uh, that is a beast. Yes. <laughs> that's so massive. The 650 is probably the more versatile of the three, but this is definitely a break piece. You are going to win hands down any crocodile done detail. I was going to say, I was going to say, that's not a saw. That's yeah. right. <laughs> but yeah, I think you can pretty much nearly win that with any of the Katana boys because it'll be very rare that you meet someone who has all three. Yeah, careful of the But yeah, please, by all means, be the first one. That's right. <laughs> and uh, mm. can we get that back in there? Yeah, so with the katana boy, the teeth always yeah. graduate, so they go um, smaller toward the handle and then they graduate bigger toward the tip. I see. Yeah, okay. so because all silkies are a draw saw, and you'll know yep. this from yep. using yours, you always start your cut right up next to the handle and then glide it towards, towards your body. That's right. And so it's easier to start with smaller teeth and that's why they put the smaller ones right next to the handle. Okay. So that bites into the timber nicely and then as you've sort of got that momentum happening, 
uh, those bigger teeth will easily chunk out the timber. So, what would you guys recommend for somebody who's going off on the track sometimes? Stuff? Would you say to get a 650, this thousand, was it thousand well, look, before, I think, uh, yeah, you have you have the ultimate. I think the six hundred and fifty yeah. is the absolute ultimate if you can afford it, um, because it's big. So if you, like you say, you were out recently, did you say yeah, you were out recently we, and you had yeah, a big sort so of a tree one, with one of the clubs and yeah. uh, they had a tree tree down and yes. uh, we used the it to cut it and get yeah. it out of the way, which was really handy for us because I, I think it's great for to be able to have a saw in your vehicle. Mm -hmm. um, because you know, sometimes you head off and you, you you don't you know you don't plan these things, and there's a tree down mm. in front of you, and you're like, oh, well, your choices are either turn around, uh, winch it out of the way, which is another good idea, uh, but sometimes you know it might be too large or something. You just got to cut it and to, to move part of it and that sort of stuff, and that's where this came in really handy. Yes. It allowed us to actually cut it, then we put the winch around it and then pull it out of the, out of the track. Mm. So it was yeah. really good for that sort of stuff. So we nickname it the man-powered chainsaw. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Was yeah, that I'm with, of, yeah, yeah. It, it, that's exactly what it is. It's um, it's a yeah. chainsaw without having the motor, and you're the motor. Yeah. And, and normally the wife or the girlfriend or the partner who is in the vehicle with you is happy because this contains no fumes yeah. um, and it's not going to take up that much space and more, more room for... Well, we actually you know, just store that behind our seat. Yeah. Behind, yeah, behind the back seat in the, in the Ford Ranger. Fits in there perfectly. Yep. So uh, we've always got it there with us. Yeah. So it's really good for that type of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so Yucatana is a brilliant alternative to a chainsaw, and as I say, it is it is the ultimate if you can have it. We do have other saws within the Silky range that are also alternatives to chainsaws, and we talk about this a bit on our videos, is the debate between a folding saw and a fixed saw. So we don't have a fixed saw as large as a Katana 650, but we do have one as large as the 500, so a half a metre long blade. Okay. Um, and there is a, a benefit and disadvantage to both a fixed or folding, but the thing that I like the most about a fixed saw is they're very comfortable to hold. Yes. Because you can have the handle more moulded yep. to your hand and a little bit more ergonomic. It's one thing I do notice mm. with it, because it has a really long handle, it, it does feel comfortable actually using it. Mm. Um, well, for two hands, you can yeah. comfortably put two hands on it's it. It's really easy to use when you're out yeah. there. <laughs> And did you try using it one-handed? No, I didn't actually. Okay. I yep. didn't, I didn't try using it one-handed. We were... No, well, I, I only asked because we mm -hmm. had a comment the other day. Some of them were saying, well, what's it like, you know, with one of our swords to use yeah. one-handed when we were saying you could use it two-handed. So I just thought, oh, I'm going to ask that <laughs> question. <No. laughs> I don't know. I just There's I think no that need, might feel a bit awkward. There's no need, just two-hands, unless you don't have the other. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah. Right. So, as we were saying, this is the ultimate as far as an alternative to a small chainsaw goes, but it's not necessarily going to cover every task because a lot of people um, when they go camping might want to have a fire so it might be you know for warmth it might be for cooking things like this so this isn't really the ideal saw if you're just wanting to go and cut branches that are more like this size here because well <laughs> this is how we just whack them with the wood <laughs> so this size branch here um is it's a firewood it's, it's ideal yeah. for a fire mm. Um, but what happens is when you try and cut small circumference branches with big teeth, uh, they jump and vibrate. So it becomes quite an uncomfortable experience. It's sort of across the... I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, the whole branch tends, tends to want to move. Yeah, that's right. And it tends to try and snap it more than cut it. And then unfortunately, the big thing is safety. It does often jump out of the cut. And it just magnets to your fingers. So, yeah. you know, you're going to get a knuckle. And a, a knife cutting your hands one thing, but a saw, that's a different cut. Yeah. And we know because we've done it. <laughs> As you can see, we're a bit clumsy, like when you with the, with the wood. So, with that in mind, it gets to be a little bit trickier because Silky make, oh, over a hundred different saws. So, we have them as little as your pocket boys, okay. which are 13 centimetres long, up to the metre long katana boy. So, yeah. what would you use a pocket boy for? So, in my opinion, every single person needs a pocket boy. Doesn't matter your age. Your occupation, you will have a use for a pocket boy at some point in your life. They are amazing. They are so cool. We nickname them our little giants because they are tiny but they do the work of a giant. Yeah, and they have two different blade lengths. You have a little small mm. 13 centimeter blade. Um, so this is what you need is holding. Yep. And then Rob is holding the 17 centimeter blade. And they're available in a few different um, tube styles. So you're ranging from your extra fine mm -hmm. to your fine, um, large tube, depending on what you are cutting. Because yep. like carpentry sets, um, if you're cutting more dry, hard pieces of timber, you would go for more of a finer tooth saw. Right. If you're cutting fresh timber from um, the tree, then you go for more of a large tooth branch, um, larger tooth saw. And so, that's so you don't clog off. So let's say that we're we're camping and we want something just to chop up some 
some wood, you know, some smaller bits of wood or... <laughs> Juggling. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, you, what, what would we go for? Which one would be you the best probably, one to go for? Um, you'd probably more go for more like a medium-sized tooth because okay. the medium-sized is kind of like your in-betweener. Uh, so you can cut more of your drier pieces of timber, but then also your sappy, fresh pieces of timber. So. Okay. That's why it's really important to not just sort of, because we often, on our videos, and, and even if people buy stuff off our website, you can't actually finish your purchase on our website. It takes your details and then it says, yeah, great, someone will contact you and everyone gets dreadfully confused because they don't give any money or anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but we do that because we like to ask these questions. It's not about... The pocket boy black is the sort of use when you're camping. It's where are you going? What are you cutting? Because different parts of Australia have different density timbers. Yep. And if it's really soft, wet, sappy timbers that you're predominantly cutting, then the bigger tooth, like the red one, is going to be perfect. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you're going into the more sort of harsh areas of Australia and everything's going to be dead, everything's going to be dry, then you're going to want a smaller tooth. Right. So it's really dependent on what you're going to be cutting, yep. mostly. I mean, obviously you don't know every yeah, single yeah, time, but yeah. it's like generally what's going to be the most common thing I come up against, and then we can help you figure out which is going to be the ideal one. But like Sinead said, normally it's the red or the black in a camping yep. sort of forward this, driving This sense. sort of seems to me like the type of thing I just shove down inside my seat here and I can pull it out if I yeah, need it. You know? absolutely. It's so small, mm. and man, it's light. Nice and there, <laughs> well, we're on um, two and a half acres, and I keep the black one in my um, the bit in the door yeah. because often we have storms come through, and there'll yep. be a tree falling over the driveway, and I can just literally cut it up with that little thing, push it to the side, and then yeah. tidy it up later and That's continue right. on my shopping trip. No, we'll go to work. No, <laughs> whatever so, it was. Um, I was doing. So we folding <laughs> saws. Yep, yeah, perfect. Mm. So for that safety precaution, um, you, there's little. Button. Yeah, yeah. yeah so we'll you re okay. release. So yeah, yeah, you would use your thumb, it's a lot more comfortable. So you would use it how you were going to cut with um, your saw. Um, and you just use your thumb and then you just release the blade. Keep in mind that you don't snip yeah. your fingers off. And then you've got these two notches. Yeah, I've got two yeah. notches up there. Mm. So the, the new, unique, uh, unique thing about the two notches as well is that you have your first setting. Um, so it's, yeah, and then you have your second setting, like Rob has just done, <laughs> and it's great for cutting flush to the ground or flush to. Oh, I see. So, so you might yeah. be building like a um, oh, what are those wind breaks for your campfire right, to stop yep, yep. you know the wind coming in and burning everything like it did when I did one. Um, <laughs> Or, you know, some other purpose where you're cutting flush to the ground. So that ha that setting is really, really handy. Yeah. Mm. That's great. Yeah. yeah. And it's also so handy in a home gardening setting, you know, so that's slightly different. But when branches are in the way, it can help to have the handle at a different angle. So do you know what the reason is? They've got a tiny little hole. Yeah. What's so that one? just makes it much easier to open and close. Oh, is that what it's for? So yeah. It's, ah, okay. so That's great, isn't it? Like yeah. you, you, how somebody could go camping with something small like that. Yeah. Now you've got these other the big boys. Yes. As well, I'm presuming. To yeah. me, like this here looks perfect. I reckon to keep in there and for using for campfires. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's that's just it. Just yeah. looks perfect for that. Here you go. Take this wow. One. They look really good. Um, but this one is quite unique, actually. This one is the only um, blade that has what we call it in the arc, big boy range. In the big boy range, yep. yep sorry, that has an arced blade. So it's a cross between a straight blade and a curved blade. So ah, it's I see. An arced blade. Yep, yep. Um, so yeah, it um, gives you that little bit of in between. If you're unsure of what angle you were cutting on. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. So you you curved blades are designed for angled work. And that's because our arm naturally. So this is when you moves. were reaching up. We were talking about this before. That's and, right. And I see. Yeah. 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 And your straight blades are for straight in front of you. So your arm naturally moves in a straight motion yeah. when you're directly in front of yourself. I, see. I don't know. When I was looking at it, I, I thought, you know, this this it feels really comfortable. Yeah. Um, this one, I think, if I wanted to, I could probably use two hands if I wanted to. Absolutely. Yeah. Whereas this one, I couldn't that's necessarily right. do right. that. But then again. Yeah. Okay, so it's a minimal amount of pressure, and because it's on a table, it's you know it's a made-up synthetic situation. But if you sort of lean against the table, that'll give it stability, which will make it easier for you to cut. If you put no pressure on it, you can see there's still a little bit of wood that comes out. If you put heaps of pressure on it, it bites and they're like little needles, and it actually takes longer to cut. But if you sort of put a halfway between that pressure on it, it'll be really quick and easy. 
to cut through. I mean, and yes, yeah, easy thing up Wow. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I thought they still had a bit to go, but man, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, cool. so I'll swap you. Yeah, it's a good job, a bit more pressure, just making that store wide. Wow. It just, it, I didn't expect how easy it was actually cutting. Mm -hmm. It just cuts really easy, and you, yeah, that's like. Alright, All right, so now try the um, hand saw version of it. So, yep, yeah. and then draw it straight towards you. This is how, when pulling it, you cut the thread on the push stroke, you're clearing out all those wood chips throughout that, uh, throughout those teeth. So you've got the red one there, that's your Ultra XL. So that is a very strong saw. So if you're more of a person that's going out, you want a bit of an all-rounder, I don't know if it's going to be at an angle, I don't know if it's going to be in front of me, I don't know if it's going to be big or small, yeah. but I know I'm rough on gear and I'm probably going to stand on it and I might throw it around. Then this is a better one to get because it's much stronger. The handles are heavier metal, it's a very strong, okay. robust saw. And it's got that sort of arced blade. It feels good. And well. an arced handle, yeah. so it gives yeah. you that sort of sensation of the curve. Here has a 24 centimeter tube, which is about almost, almost twice, not twice, centimeters larger. You know, I reckon that saw is really good. Yeah, mm. it's nice. Like that, that I reckon would be a perfect saw almost to keep with you for your, if you're off camping, I reckon mm. that would be perfect. No, I'm just, that was, that was good. Yeah. That was really good. Uh, my favourite so far are these two. Oh, excellent. I like those two. There you go. Ultra XL. Curve big boy. <laughs> so this one, I love that one. That's you great. You like that one? Yeah, that for yeah. me, well, for camping, yes. uh, for driving, I just don't yeah. know, that just, that's good. Hmm. I know, I think I, I love this sword. <laughs> this, this, uh, Taking that sword. one home. Yeah, this is a good one. These are good. They look really good. It's going to be the baby brother I, for I your really do like <laughs> that. I like that one there, and I do like the big boy. Yes. Um, So you have this YouTube channel about four wheel driving and camping yeah. and you say you've got the Katana Boy which yeah. you've used and you had yeah. the Fallen Trees a couple of times which is great. Um, what actually motivated you to get the Silky in the first place? Oh, it's an interesting question. Hey, mm -hmm. um, originally I, I, we didn't have anything yeah. and um, you know you, you see people go out there on tracks and a lot of stuff mm -hmm. and you think well what are they going to do to chop it down and I was thinking the same thing you know what do we do if we ever come across you know fallen trees mm -hmm. and that type of stuff and I didn't want anything which was a saw a chainsaw necessarily mm -hmm. uh, only time we take a chainsaw is when we take our camper trailer yes um, that's about it but uh, so I wanted something small lightweight and mm -hmm. uh, had a look around and the Katana boys Okay. I mean, really good because it just seemed like. So, what you saw some YouTube reviews or yeah, something? Yeah, I saw some yeah. YouTube reviews talking about them and that type of stuff. Yeah. And I thought, yeah, it looks like the perfect little product. So, so do you use. reckon it it was as good as the reviews made it out to be, or was it better or worse? Or um, well, it's hard to say because it's not something that you know you, you've you've tried before. Yes. And then once you've got it and you yeah. give it a go, I highly rate them. I think they're excellent yeah. Yeah. because they are they they are easy. When you're cutting it, it actually yeah. feels really easy to so cut. So you don't them. have to be a bodybuilder to be no. able to use one. No, I'm not, I'm not a bodybuilder. <laughs> in the wrong area. <laughs> cool. So yeah, no, they they they're, they're really easy to use. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And um, you did you find the the fact that it only calls cool. Only cuts on the pull strokes, and you would, of course. Um, <laughs> cuts on the pull stroke, difficult or easy? No, nah, easy. Yeah, okay, perfect. Right. It was really easy. It was oh, actually, it actually felt yep. right. Oh, you know course. what I mean? Like, so when yeah. you're cutting something, yep. it didn't feel like, uh, like I know when I was younger, you used to have the hand saws mm. and they cut both ways. Yes. Yeah. And you, you push into it, it just yep. felt like you just pulled it and, yes. and you just slide it forward. Yep. And it just felt really easy to use. Oh, great. So, yeah. Especially with the super sharp teeth as well, it just eats into that timber. But yeah, use minimal pressure. And it was, that's exactly yeah. right. I didn't have, you, that was one thing I noticed, you didn't have to push down on it. Yeah. Uh, hardly, you just, just light pulls and that, and it just mm -hmm. seemed to do it quite easily. Yeah. So now that you've tried those other saws, do you think that um, because you've got the katana, which is half a meter long, so it's a big saw, mm. 
Um, do you think you need to add a smaller saw to yeah, your kit? Yeah, I like that, that red one that you have. That Ultra yeah, that XL? Ultra, yeah, that looks yes. really good. Yeah. That looks really good. Because in the past, how would you have collected firewood? Like, what would you have done to have got that firewood together? Uh, in the past, you get somebody else to do it. <laughs> <laughs> somebody who already has a silver key. Yes. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, and it's yes. a lot easier to get your timber when you're out there. Yes. And have yeah. to lug it along with you. Yes, you know? exactly. So, yeah. Um, yeah, do it that way. So, it's worthwhile, maybe, really having at least two saws. In your I think so. Yeah, yeah, I think it, the the large one's great for, for clearing uh, stuff. You know, if you're driving around, yep. the small one's great for campfires and that sort of yes. stuff. But, oh, yeah. and then the pocket boy for you can't. Yeah, for exactly right. Just, yeah. for, just <laughs> because you might need it. <laughs> you got it in at home. <laughs> So thanks so much for coming in today. We really enjoyed having you here. It was nice uh, getting to know you better and finding out about your channel. And we have watched your videos. They are great. So look, if any of you are interested in uh, reviews on a lot of products that are used on caravans and all sorts of different applications in the four-wheel drive and camping scene, then your videos are yeah. well worth a watch. So cool. Appreciate well, thank that. you for coming in. And say so thanks for you guys too for yeah. spending some time with me today yes. and going through and showing me the different stores. I really do appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, we really hope good. we haven't overwhelmed you because it is <laughs> something I am guilty for because they're, the thing is they're all brilliant. Yeah. And so it's really hard to go, oh, we're just picking one or two. That's right. <laughs> or five, you, here you go. <laughs> you want them all. That's yeah. just bottom line. <laughs> You want this showroom in your shed. You're exactly <laughs> right. You do, don't you? <laughs> totally. totally. One at a time. <laughs> well, yes, it was nice having you, and thanks for watching. If yes. you um, head over to Rob's channel. Australian Camping and Four Wheel Drives. Perfect. So, say it. <laughs> <laughs> and so, if you haven't subscribed to our channel or Rob's, then please do both. <laughs> yeah, yes. that'd be great. So, yeah, leave us a comment as well. Leave Rob a comment. Any questions or inquiries you have, um, we're all always happy to... Um, to do our best to answer them. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> and find out who gets to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. You have a great week. Bye. Enjoy it.